Have you seen these ads from tipsters, decided to follow their bets, and then ended up constantly on the losing side? If that's the case, today's video is an eye-opener you cannot afford to miss. We're about to expose the shocking truth behind following betting tips, and how it guarantees that you lose. One thing you might have noticed is that the majority of these betting tips offered by these tipsters is completely free. So are they just great people like Robin Hood doing it out of the kindness of their hearts and trying to help you make money? Most likely not. There's a saying that says, if something is free, then you are the product being sold. How these tipsters make money is not by charging you for tips. In fact, they are known as affiliate tipsters, who are individuals or organizations that provide betting tips to their audience, and at the same time, earn money through their affiliation with the bookmaker or sports book. Here's how they make money. First, affiliate tipsters have plenty of affiliate links, promoting various online bookmakers and betting platforms through their unique tracking links. When someone from their audience clicks on this link and signs up to place bets, the tipster earns a commission based on the cut referred customer's activity. How their commission structure works is generally the affiliate tipster will get a percentage cut of the bookmaker's profit from that customer. This is generally about 30% of the total losses of one of their referrals, but sometimes it can even be higher than that. So let's say you were referred by an affiliate tipster through one of their links and you lost $1,000 to the bookmaker. Then this means the bookmaker will pay the affiliate tipster who referred you $300 or 30% of your losses. In fact, I've actually been offered to become an affiliate tipster many, many times by various bookmakers and online platforms. And just to clarify right now, I don't have any affiliation with any bookmakers and I don't make any money by redirecting my customers or audience to betting platforms. And I don't ever intend to do that. So if you are a betting platform looking for affiliate tipsters, please don't email me and you just get sent to spam. So let's go over some affiliate examples. Well, firstly, just by looking at my email, we can see one expert is one that frequently pops up. We can see here, I got an email from them saying I get a 200% bonus on a customer's first registration and I get 25% of the company's winnings on anyone who signed up with your promo code and started using one expert. So I'm supposed to attract the big betters. And there's so many of these people who apparently work for one expert that have reached out to me. And it's honestly, all of this is just going to spam. 25% again. This guy says, you'll receive 25% of the loss of registrants from your link each month. And this kind of practice isn't limited to the small bookmakers either. There's all these big bookmakers, for example, Bet365, that has a very well-known affiliate program. And let's actually check it out. So. Bet365's affiliate program, Bet365 partners. We can apply now if we want to. And there's 90 million customers, 25 different payout methods. Um, earn 30% lifetime commission across all products. So that means if a customer spends $1,000 and loses that $1,000, well, you get to keep a nice $300 of profit, which, which is quite a juicy payout. And that, I guess, is why all these affiliate tipsters are willing to pretend to be your friend and then actually take money from you. And you can track your revenue anywhere, anytime. Pretty cool. Um, very well built up program. And we can see what their partners say as well. Um, and you can see one of their partners who's given them great feedback is Andrew Bramley from Odds Checker. Odds Checker is actually an affiliate tipster or an affiliate for Bet365. They're not really a tipster. They're more like um, showing you the best odds. So you think that platform is there to help punters, but really they're just redirecting you to all these different bookmakers and making money off of you. So we can see that's the case from Odds Checker here. Um, I've just picked a random um, game and we can see they've sorted their odds, um, showed all the odds from different sports books. And let's click on the Bet365 one and see where it takes us. So I will click on that and we'll see here. It says affiliate equals 365 type book you offer reset. So I guess this is their code and we've just clicked on the affiliate link. So if I sign up to bet365 now and lose some money, some of that money is going to be going to odds checker. And you can see from an email I got from Wardhouse VC, it says that as outlined in our previous examples, wagering affiliates mainly earn their revenue by directing bettors to bookmakers. And primary revenue models are revenue sharing and cost per acquisition. So percentage of their revenue or a few hundred dollars per customer and several strategies for wagering affiliates to channel traffic towards bookmakers such as sent media content such as betting tips or contrasting bookmaker odds, which is what Oddschecker does. And we can see they're even listed here 
An example of one well-known bookmaker comparison site is OddsChecker. Some affiliate programs offered by bookmakers also have tiered structures, which means the more people you refer, the higher percentage payout you get. So maybe instead of 30%, you would get 40%. And this encourages tipsters to refer more and more people to maximize their profits. So now we know these tipsters goals is not to actually help you make money, but rather to make you lose money so they get more money. Let's see how they go about doing it without you suspecting anything. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to be using one affiliate tipster. Um, in this case, it is unfortunately Benny's football tips. I don't want to pick on Benny, although that probably isn't actually his real name, but we'll just use this as an example. Um, there's a lot of other ones that are very similar out there. So firstly from this image, boom, the first thing we see is what they're tipping is not individual bets. They're tipping Akers or others known as parlays or multis. So where they combine multiple things together into one bet and all of them need to win at the same time for it to possibly win. So it's a six fold bet. The odds are very, very high. And how it works is that it compounds your losses because it compounds how much the difference you're paying in the odds. The odds you're getting for each leg is already worse than the fair odds. And by compounding them and multiplying them together, it makes it significantly worse than what it was. I have a whole video on why parlay betting is not a good idea and I'll link that up over here. But essentially that is why these bets are guaranteed to lose you a lot of money in the long run. It's even worse than just betting on individual bets. You're going to be losing a lot more in terms of percentage. Like instead of losing maybe 5%, you might be losing 30 or 40%. And as you can see, Benny here is just a random cartoon picture. He's not willing to share his own face. Like separates him from really being responsible. If you lose a lot of money, you can't really blame him because, well, you don't know who to blame. And as we can see here, we've seen a boom where they've won a bet, Benny has won a bet, but we don't actually see him posting any of his losses, which is quite misleading. I'm sure like not all of his bets are going to win. That's statistically near impossible. And as we can see, here is a nice affiliate link to sign up here and place $10 on this. And once you've signed up, you do get some free money, but then Benny has now referred a new account and he's going to be making a little more commission in the long run. Also, I think it would be nice if Benny actually posted some profit worm. So how much has he made or lost over time? And we can see from all his bets, how much has he made rather than just posting the winning bets. It's quite misleading there. And one other thing these affiliate tipsters do is sometimes they don't put the odds that you can actually achieve. So sometimes they'll post odds where they'll say they got odds of five, but really once you log in, you'll probably only get odds of four or 4.5 if you're lucky, as either the volume has moved or the price has changed the moment that they've placed their bet. And once you're on, you're too slow to get the original odd price and the price has moved. And if you're not getting the best price, then that margin already is very, very small and you're going to be probably losing in the long run. And if they're using those odds to reflect their profits, then that is quite misleading because those are prices that are not actually achievable. It's also not very hard to fake a winning slip. And I can show you an example where I've just faked one over here, um, just using HTML and CSS using inspect element on my PC. <laughs> There is no easy money, and the only reliable way to make money from sports betting is to spend a lot of time understanding the mathematics and probability yourself, which is the core to understanding how betting works. If you're completely new, I'd recommend you start off by watching my Betting Odds 101 video here, and if you want more in-depth lessons where I share the specific strategies that I've used and optimized over my years from betting, and also provide the online tools and calculators to help you make your own profitable bets, then I'd recommend my sports betting courses, link in the description below, which both have money back guarantees. And what happens in these courses is across multiple one hour or two hour long video lessons, I teach you the mathematical principles that you can apply to specific Australia and New Zealand, as well as US and Canada bookmaker promotions, and how you can exploit these optimally to make profit betting yourselves. And that is where I made the majority of my over $50,000 of sports betting income. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, then make sure to give it a big like down below and subscribe to this channel to not miss out on my other sports betting tips and tricks. As always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.